As many of you know, Congress established the 340B drug discount program nearly three decades ago to allow qualifying safety net clinics and hospitals to provide free or discounted medicine to low-income and vulnerable and uninsured patients. And while the 340B program was created with good intentions, a lack of clear oversight and program rules has raised concerns about whether the savings from the program are being redirected to benefit the patients that are most in need. A 2017 Journal of Oncology article noting that consolidation due to 340B will continue to drive up the cost of commercial health insurance. Another New England Journal of Medicine article from the University of Chicago and Harvard suggesting that lawmakers could lower the price of prescription drugs by reforming the federal 340B drug pricing program. I think what is clear is that when 30% of a physician-administered drug goes through the 340B channel and that price is 50% off of WAC, when you talk about the effect on drug prices, it absolutely impacts drug pricing. It has to. The program may have extended beyond its initial intent, causing significant market distortions to patients' detriment rather than their benefit. Evaluating the program based on outcomes instead of intentions, overall, this program appears to be a very ineffective and inefficient and expensive way of trying to help vulnerable patients not actually be able to access the drugs that they need. I think the concept of the program has always been good. Obviously, it's mission-driven, it's about the patient, and that's important to us. This is all about patient care at the end of the day. The dollars that are saved from 340B are significant for Florida. Those dollars are put right back into the FQHC because that's what our mission is. From a patient perspective, even though they don't know the 340B program, there are weird things that happen in the background that were caused by it but are never explained to the patient. I wanted to participate today because it's really valuable for me to hear from different perspectives. I know we had some really interesting stakeholders and, and leaders in the 340B community who are really passionate and committed to evolving the program in a way that's really patient-centered. I became interested in reforming the 340B program because I'm interested in transparency and accountability in, in healthcare in general. If we're ever gonna get our healthcare system to a place where cost curve is being bent down, one of the things we have to do is the consumer has to have as much information about what's happening in the system as possible. We can't differentiate between the bad actors and the good actors here because we don't have the rules in place that we need to have in place. We don't have the transparency or the accountability. We are simply asking for transparency and accountability. When the program works as intended, public health outcomes are improved. That's why it is so important that patient advocates, healthcare leaders, and members of Congress are focused on how to get the 340B program back on track, and why common sense federal action is needed to create greater accountability within the program so that it works for the patients and communities that have come to depend on it.